Now with our chief political analyst, Matthew Dowd, and Megan McCain from The View. And uh, let's talk about the message, Matt. On the one hand, the president is now the fifth president in a row to have this happen to him. Lose Virginia. And New Jersey the year after. But the voters so clear here. Two to one in Virginia, three to one in New Jersey. They wanted to send a message to Trump. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they sent a message to Trump big time in the course of this. And talk about when he comes back to Washington. It may be his forbidden city when he comes back in the aftermath of this. I think send, thinks it sends a lot of signals. But I think the big takeaway that I had from it is the level of diversity and inclusion that happened on election night. If you not only a first transgender uh, person elected in, a, in to office in Virginia, the first Sikh elected to office. Mm -hmm in a major city, the first gay uh, mayor of Seattle, the first uh, African-American woman elected Charlotte. mayor of Charlotte, the first woman mayor of Manchester. I mean, it was a night of total diversity, and I think that not only a rejection of Trump, it was basically a rejection of what he stood for. And the divisions we've seen o over the last year. One of the things we saw, especially, Megan, in Virginia, this idea of embracing President Trump's policies when you're yes. Republican, but you're not President Trump it, doesn't work. It's always strange bedfellows when you're someone like Gillespie who was a lobbyist and sort of the very definition of a swamp creature trying to become Trump. And the Weekly Standard headline, which I think is the main takeaway, is that Trumpism without Trump fails. And I think imitations of him, especially when you have the kind of legacy that Gillespie did, is just not going to work. But, but, you know, we saw the tweet, uh, Matt, from, uh, from President Trump. He said, you know, Gillespie wasn't behind me, didn't hug me hard enough. Basically, <laughs> the problem with that, that may work in a, in a congressional district that's solidly, solidly Republican not going to work in big states and swing states. No, I think Purple Republicans states, yeah. I think Republicans have to ask themselves where it is. It's not only a, that Trumpism without Trump doesn't work. I don't think Trumpism without Hillary Clinton doesn't work in elections. I think Donald Trump was successful, just like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird were better because of his opponent. Donald Trump was better because he had an opponent like Hillary Clinton. In an aftermath of an election like this, where Hillary Clinton is no longer on the ballot, it becomes really difficult for Republicans to win these races. And, and voter turnout being 11% higher than election in 2016 is also very significant. And the legislative losses is also something that is more unprecedented than the governorship turning. So what does this mean for the Republican agenda, agenda going forward as they head into a midterm election year, what does it mean for big things like tax cuts? I think it makes it harder and harder to get anything done in the course of this. I think if you're a Republican that comes back to Washington in the aftermath of what happened yesterday, you sit down and say, do I really want to embrace all these parts of what Donald Trump is, is pushing, including an unpopular tax bill? When you look at the polls, the tax bill is unpopular, pushed by an unpopular president. I think it makes it much harder. They wonder, can they afford to fail? Midterms are coming and there's no peace. I mean, the, the party could not be more fractured when you see President Trump coming out and attacking Gillespie this morning, saying, you know, he, he didn't support me enough. He wasn't enough like me. And conservative media is really taking that side, that you don't support the president enough, then basically you're bupkis at this point. And it's a very dangerous message going forward. I anticipate if it's anything we're reading the tea leaves right now, I anticipate a bloodbath. And it's a box that they're in. It's, he's, Donald Trump is powerful in the Republican primary, but he's an anchor in the general election. Yes. Matt Dabney, that was, yeah, that's a solid much. exit. <laughs> <laughs>